Welcome back to another video. My name is Michael. I'm the founder of Buffalo Performance and Analysis, where we combine sports science, strength and conditioning, and sports performance to give coaches the tools necessary to build the next level of elite athletes. In this video, we're looking over a dashboard I created, uh, looking at 10 soccer athletes and their performance over the course of two weeks of both practice and games. So when we look at the dashboard, this is gonna be something that we'll be sending out to the, the sport coaches, uh, strength and conditioning staff, uh, sports medicine staff, just kind of as a general overview of the performance of the athletes. So when we hop into the dashboard, at the very top, we have different uh, filters or different slicers. Uh, so I can select by the athlete's name. I can pick by the session type. So whether I want to look at games or the practices, and then I can even uh, use the slicer of the date and pick individual dates to look at the data. Um, <clears throat> when the coach kind of first opens up the dashboard, what they'll see is they'll see the stress level of the athlete, the sleep score, and the soreness. Now I have it set up in a way where it has it as an average. So the average for the team is 6.02 for their stress level, sleep score. The average for everybody is 86.88, and the average soreness is 4.19. And then from there, you can drill it down by athlete. So if I want to look at Franco, I can see Franco's uh, stress level, sleep score, and soreness. Again, that's still an average over those two weeks of training. And then if I want to take a look at one uh, a certain day, so let's say I want to look at uh, their last game, which was on this Saturday, I can see his sleep score from that night, the night before the game, uh, his stress level after the game, and his soreness after that game. Uh, so those are kind of some slicers that we can use in Power BI to kind of filter down the data a little bit better. So here on this top right, this one is a little bit different than the other graphs that we're about to go into. Uh, this one I had to create in R. This is actually just an image that I imported into the dashboard, but it shows that there is a strong negative correlation between sleep quality and stress. So we see that for our athletes, uh, the, the correlation coefficient Pearson's R is a negative 0.77. So it's a really strong or really high negative correlation and that we need to encourage our athletes to not only get more sleep, but better quality sleep so we can see their stress levels come down. Looking at this graph down here at the bottom left, we're looking at the acceleration, deceleration, and the, uh, the soreness for our athletes. Again, this is just a, a average for the entire team over the course of the two weeks, and we see it broken down day by day. Uh, so one of the interesting things that we see is that it seems like there's a, a correlation between acceleration, deceleration, and soreness, where we see on game days, the 5th and the 12th, if I want to filter by our games, I can see that November 5th and November 12th are game days. And then when I look at all the dates, again on the 5th and on the 12th, not only do I have a high number of acceleration and decels, but the soreness uh, after the games is very high as well. Uh, so that kind of shows that there might be some correlation between acceleration, deceleration, and the soreness of the athlete. Then over here, looking over at this bottom right graph, we're looking at the distance covered, the soreness, and then the max speed that the athletes covered during that game. Uh, so again, averages for the entire team. We're looking at between a little bit less than 6K, uh, traveled a little bit over and then about 8k on our first game and then 10k on our second game uh, and distance uh, covered. So this is really important data that, that we can kind of utilize as a one-off, kind of give a summary report to our coaches week to week or every couple weeks. This is also really important for return to play athletes. So let's say we had an injured athlete, let's say Jack was an injured athlete. I can look at Jack's information and I can look in here and see, okay, look, he has really, really low soreness and then come game day, it spikes to eight. So, you know, he's down here at, at three, his soreness is three and then game day, it spikes to eight. And then again on the next game, it spikes up to eight again. 
So for return play athletes, it's really important. We can look at their stress, soreness, and sleep score. Uh, we can look at you know how their max speed is, how their acceleration deceleration count is, and as well as just providing an overall um, look at the performance of the team from a sports science perspective. I'm gonna make another video kind of looking at the back end. So uh, the state is, I just made it up using an Excel uh, document and then also some of the coding that I did in R. So I'll make another video um, going over what I did in both Excel and in R to kind of create this. And I'll probably even make a, uh, another video kind of walking through step by step how I created this dashboard uh, that we're looking at right now. But if you like this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Thanks.